Hey everyone, when I was a young boy and we would go to a gas station, it was different back then, we had a full service gas station. There were no self-service gas stations. That means that an attendant would come out when you pull up to the gas pump and he would uh, put the gas nozzle in the, uh, in the tank and as it was filling up, he would come right around and he had a rag in both pockets in his back and he would he would clean your windshield and wipe it off with one rag and kind of wipe down the windshield and then with the other rag he would open the hood and check your fluids make sure you're okay he would add oil or whatever if you might need that and i was fascinated by the red rags that he used and i just had a passion i wanted one of those red rags and so sometime later, we were on vacation in South Texas, and we, we were in Corpus Christi, I'll never forget, and we all got out, and we went in store to go to the bathroom and to get some candy, and uh, my dad stayed in the car, and so as I was walking into the, to the store part of the, of the gas station, they had bays where you had a mechanic on duty, but I saw one of those red rags on the floor, and I thought, I gotta have that red rag. So I walked over and I picked up the red rag and I put it in my back pocket, went to the store, and then I came out later. My sisters got in the car. And just as we were ready to pull out, my dad, without turning around, looking straight ahead, said, son, you want to go put that rag back in there, in that gas station? And I thought, oh, man, I didn't think he was watching. And then he said, and I want you to tell the attendant that you're sorry for stealing the rag. I thought, oh, man, I can't believe this. So sure enough, I went over and I gave it to the guy and I said, I'm sorry for stealing your red rag. And he looked at my dad and kind of gave a wink in the eye like he knew what was going on. And he said, that's all right. So I got back in the car. I felt terrible. Saturday, my wife and I went to see the Jesus Revolution movie. If you haven't seen it, it's a must see. But in that movie, a lot of things struck me. One thing in particular was the passion these young people had to know Christ. And as I was thinking about that, it, it took me back to that scene when I was a young boy, how passionate I was to want that red rag so much so that I would steal for it. And I wonder what would happen if, if we as believers had that same passion that nothing was going to stop us from knowing Christ and helping others know Him. Now, that's the real thrust of the movie, and I think it's the thrust of the Christian life that we, as Paul said, I want to know Him and the power of His resurrection. And so I, I, I wonder what would happen if we all had that, that same kind of passion as I did as a young boy. And of course, all of us could tell our stories of that kind of passion. What if we had that for Christ and help others know Christ? I think that's one of the marks of true revival that we would see take place in our nation. Well, I want to remind you of our legacy evening for Linwood Christian Academy, March 31st. It'll be at the Jackson Civic Center. You can uh, go online and get tickets. You can call the church office. It's going to be a great night. I hope that you join us and to help support Linwood Christian Academy. And then Easter weekend, Good Friday service, 6 o'clock, Friday night. And then Sunday, we'll have three services, 8, 9, and 1030. And so I look forward to seeing you there. Pray about bringing a friend this Easter Sunday. You know, it's a great opportunity. Most people will say yes if you invite them. Uh, they know it's a special day uh, so that they can come and hear the hope that there is in the risen Christ. God bless you.